Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for watching. So, as most of you know, I am in the middle of planning a wedding. <laughs> it's bound to happen sooner or later. And for my three subscribers that have been following me, um, here's the latest update. So, I've been planning my wedding since I was about 12 years old. While everybody else was out getting messed up on new kids on the block and eating candy cigarettes, I was in my room tearing through bridal magazines. Every five seconds it was like, oh my god! My poor parents. Like, thank god nothing actually happened to me up in my room. Like, Saturday morning, they're like, oh... Jill's home again. I see her bridal magazine subscription came in today. Oh my god! No, no, nobody's being murdered upstairs today. And I'd just be up there hanging out. Lounging on my blow-up furniture. Because that was a thing that we did. And I'd be like, oh my god! Princess Jasmine Barbie doll, don't we love the mermaid style wedding dress? Oh my god! Princess Jasmine Barbie doll, don't we love the orchids? And she was so good. She was like, yes, we do love the orchids. Um, I think, yeah, I like the, I like the, I like the mermaid style wedding dresses. Yeah, those are good. Princess Jasmine Barbie doll was my favorite Barbie doll. Although now as an adult, I'm like kind of bummed out that she married a criminal. Oopsies. You're not being a very good role model, Jasmine, are ya? Ugh. She'll be fine. So the other thing, you know, back in my day, when I was planning my wedding, the bridal magazines used to list the prices everywhere. Because Google wasn't a thing then. So the, you know, whatever venues they had featured in there, whatever vendors were in there, they avoided a lot of annoying phone calls. Because you couldn't be like, what is this dress? Whoa, I can't afford that. Mm. So back in my day, they used to list the prices. And, um, you know, when you're, when you're a child... $3,000, $11,000, those aren't real numbers. You can't even count that high because you've gone to public schools. Then you grow up and you're an adult and you're like, I've furthered my education so I can read big numbers now. $3,000 is a lot of money. I learned that day one. Real quick, the bill came in and I was like, oh, I'm poor now. So, you know, it's just different. You're like, uh, I kind of still want the orchids. You're like, I know I'm not 95 pounds anymore. So the mermaid style wedding dress is not a big deal. Like we can cut that real quick. But you're like, I'm gonna go look at some orchids. You get there and you like look at the price tag and you're like, how many jungle people tears did it take to create this flower? All of them? Then you like keep reading like the care instructions. It's like, I will die within 20 minutes of your, like, wedding reception, and you will be bummed out. And then in smaller print, it's like, miss every three minutes with the blood of a unicorn while saying only nice words around it. And then in the really tiny fine print, it's like, um, so if you purchase me, you're probably going to get charged with manslaughter because of a conversation you will inevitably have with the florist and you're like whoo 
Ooh, this thing, I don't know if this is going to be the right. You're like, you know what? I love it. I'm going to order all the orchids. I want all the orchids. If you could splash them with some extra tears before they come, that would be great. Maybe they'll last 40 minutes. Hold on, I'm on Etsy trying to find unicorn blood. Yeah, I can get that. I can get that. Hopefully the shipping gets it here in time for the wedding, but it is available for purchase, so that shouldn't be a problem. You're like, also, I feel like I can relate to this orchid. Just, it's, I think it's going to be my flower spirit animal. Yeah, right. My flower spirit animal is a carnation. It looks really pretty from afar. And then it gets closer and you're like, oh, oh, you're, you're a carnation. But you put it on your table anyway and like every day you walk by it and you're like, you're hanging in there, huh? Another three weeks go by and you're like, now you're just angry because it's like the thing that won't go away. You're like, I got flowers and now what? I have a pet now? Okay. But one step at a time. We're not at the flowers yet. We're not at orchids. We still have to find a venue. So, uh, venue shopping. Every coordinator asks the same GD question when they get on the phone with you. They say, what type of wedding are you having? The first thing that I want to say every single time is, uh, hopefully one where the groom shows up. I'd like to have one of those. But you're like, no, um, I actually, I'm going to tell you about my wedding. It's, 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 the basis of it is a terminology that I have made up because I'm addicted to Pinterest. Um, and every term that I use that you don't understand, because you're probably uh, not medicated, is um, a word that I've made up and it involves a five minute explanation. So I'm having, I wanna do like a rustic glam wedding. And basically what's gonna happen is a petting zoo is gonna come and after all of the guests are done naming the animal, we're gonna eat it. But it's also, it's glamorous because there's gonna be chandeliers in the trees and diamonds everywhere. And you know, nobody in America will be having Christmas that year because I'll have bought all the Christmas tree lights and put them in the forest. So that's just like one, one idea that I had. And your friends are like really supportive about your idea. They're like, they're on Etsy and they're like sending you links. They're like, oh look, we can, like if we made collars for all the animals before they came, became food, like we, you could save a ton of money on wedding favors. We could just use these as wedding favors. You're like, thanks guys, love it. And the wedding coordinator is like, yeah, let me take out that binder. We have one of those. You're like, okay. Okie dokie. Um, real quick though, before we get into like that thing that I just talked about for 10 minutes, um, another idea that I have is like an aquarium thing. I was thinking of doing, you know, like an aquarium because most days I feel like I can physically relate to a large sea creature, although I know that, like, psychologically and spiritually, I'm um, a princess bedazzled fin mermaid. Um, you know, so I would just, like, also do beluga whales. Can we just have, like, I would like a beluga whale to follow me around the whole time because I just think that if that happened, I would look Victoria Beckham hella skinny in my dress. So is that like something that we that we can do? 
like a large sea creature thing. Do you want to see my Pinterest board for that? It's just something that I came up, you know, real quick off the top of my head. And that board is actually called um, Bedazzled Beluga Ballroom. The wedding coordinator is like, yeah, well, let me get out the binder for that one, too. She's like, okay. So we do offer that. Um... Just so you know, a lot, and this is something to take into consideration, a lot of brides like to upgrade and actually have the beluga whale swim around and do flips like a dolphin with the orchids hanging out of its mouth. And you're like, really? And then all of a sudden, Beyonce comes in the room. And she's like, people are like, Jill, Jill, you're like, oh, oh my God, I'm sorry, I blacked out, I'm here now. Yes, okay, um, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll think. I need some water. Do you guys have some water? Yeah, we'll think we'll think about the beluga orchid upgrade. You're like, I love that. I love that that's an option. They're like any other uh wedding ideas that you that you have that you can think of? You're like, no. Nope. Just those two. Your husband's like, what about the other one that we've been talking about? You're like, I don't want to talk about that board. She's like, well, just give me the name of it. Just throw it out there real quick. Maybe I can work with it. And you're like, it's called reality. And I don't go to that board that often because... Sometimes my therapist doesn't pick up phone calls in the afternoon. Sometimes that doesn't happen. So because of the, you know, clear alcohol that I've been using to medicate myself with this month, we've narrowed it down to two different venues. We were originally going to do a destination wedding. But then after talking with um, our friends and our family, we realized that only about 10 people in our network actually liked us. So, so we're just, we're going to do something a little more local now. That's the plan. That's the plan that we're going to do. So I'm like calling different venues and I'm like, hi, I'm going to need an open bar. And a place to humanely sl like slaughter the entrees. Also, uh, did your staff used to work um, in Circus Soleil? I'm looking for trapeze artists to serve my my um, guests bacon wrap scallops. Like I want them in the air, like just <laughs> somersaulting around with scallops. And I would like to do this for, I think, I think $40 because of Spring Vogue and glitter. Just like, okay, yeah, we can do that for sure. Come on in. You're like, okay, and then just one thing really quick. You're like, oh my God, like this person is like a venue that like we can work with. And then you're like, just, just real quick, um, do you have anywhere that you can accommodate like a beluga whale holding orchids? Do you have like an area set up for that? She's like, actually, weirdly enough, yes, we do. You're like, perfect. Okay, we will be there this weekend. Thank you so much for talking to me. Love it. You're like, Hallelujah. Church of Britney Spears. Babe. Babe, we need to find a sitter for Magnolia Bentley Cucumber Seed. Because I found a venue that will work for us. 
I heard that one of the like Circus Soleil people walked through that place one more time and they are they are wait let me call them back real quick hi yeah um I just spoke to you about the beluga whale wedding real quick question um are your refrigerators orchid friendly I will keep you posted as the adventures go on have a good night